Deuteronomy. What is it? 28, 68? Oh, Deuteronomy 68, 28. I asked him. I missed it. I live here, Scott. Lake Street. And Pulaski. West Side. I just asked these brothers, the Israelites, to explain it. They tell me found a book or something, or I asked them for evidence. Our brothers open to the drug. This is you make it all your blood. When you see our brothers direct me, they, they don't have no strong evidence that it was brought over here. On slave boats, three and two hundred across the Atlantic Ocean. So tell the people why you don't lie. That the word of God is true, and every man is lying. Never said the word wasn't true. I'm saying you wasn't brought over here on no boats. 1619. Like an American Indians, do you any dog or Israelite? Put the Israelites above all nations. That's right. You understand? I'm not so If I stop drinking, we'll go above all nations. If you do right, right, I follow you, right? Sound like that. So he shall return Yahweh, he shall return you, Yahweh, to Mizraim in ships in a way which I said to you, uh, not again shall you continue, or not you shall repeatedly, or you will not ever, you know, to put it in our terms, you will not ever see uh, La Rota, see her uh, again, you know what I'm saying, or oh, meaning again. Well, he the Makarotim. All right, so this is an in uh, this is a intensive reflexive verb. In other words, you do it to yourself. If the verb is makah, which is what it is, which means to sell, it doesn't mean that you will be sold, as uh, King Jimmy had put it. You know, it, you know, there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. However, the text is saying you shall sell yourselves there to your enemies. Right. So if we first off acknowledge the fact that you they're, they're selling themselves, they're not being put on on the stage and there's a, a auction going on for a mm -hmm. book or a, a, a sow, if you will. I don't want to use the other term, mm -hmm. but um, I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Ha Kodash. And double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well. Sincere honors to you other elders, you brethren. Shalom to you few sisters and shalom to the hopefully elect. Peace to you. So, uh, this video was inspired uh, from the elder uh, GMS Vegas sit downs. Um, with this older Jake who says... <laughs> Uh, we never came on boats which is ships and he's clearly had some form of drinking issue and you know I don't know if he had a Wi-Fi hotspot sitting in the cafe drinking and listening to these garbage videos which should be deemed misinfo right this guy Dane Calloway right he's one of them the one body not in Yahawashi they're another group. You know what's weird? You know what's sick about all of this? When we was taught, we was on slave ships, coming up, right? Giving out, getting our history to further destroy us. But giving us our history, in the schools, they taught us, you on slave ships. We came on slave ships. We were slaves. They didn't go into the depth of it, but they did say, we were slaves, born on slave ships, and so forth. But you see, none of these guys popping up out of anywhere saying that we wasn't on slave ships. Right? It isn't until we woke up and we start becoming something. You know, somebody uh, waking up to ourselves, our heritage, that you got these guys that want to try to put you back to sleep. They don't want it. Right? So you don't have to have it. Stand in the back, and as the um, you know the brothers of IUIC was teaching people, still gather around listening. So this is for the, the elect anyway. So 
you know, at the end of the day, we can see that all of this, you know, these people don't read the Bible or they don't never they never understood it. That the wrath of the Lord is hard. And the Lord has stopped the sun, you know, dialed the time back. He did all kinds of things for his works. You're going to tell me that a tree falling on a car and a, a hurricane wiping out a block is an act of God. But us being brought over here on slave ships, they had nothing to do with biblical, you know, being uh, anything to do with any kind of uh, biblical prophecy. This is crazy. So anyway, I asked this one guy, going to the next guy, who's uh, claimed to be some Hebrew scholar, <laughs> which there were testimonies uh, in the 1800s, late 1800s, and even 1900s, <clears throat> there was testimonies of um, people, like even Radoshi, the, the so-called black woman, uh, and it was someone else, they gave testimonies of the slave ships. And that was like the ending of it. <clears throat> and you know, even after slavery was over, they were still bringing them. They didn't just stop it like that. But this is insane that all these years we knew our history and you got these people waking up to try to take it back from you. This guy, um, Dr. Brown, he doesn't believe the slave ships in the Bible. Of course they don't want to say it's us, but there's no prophecy fitting them, right? Before 48, what were they called? Right? Um... As the brother, I saw a brother, um, I can't remember his name. Uh, yeah, Shopper of the 12 uploaded a short clip. Yale says it's a difference between the 48ers and the Israelites. Right? But anyway, <clears throat> you can check that out. Anyway, we're going to go into this. Let's go to Jeremiah 2 and 14. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? You know why you spoiled? Because of the curses that the Most High put on put on us. Now you want to go to Deuteronomy 28 and 48. It says, Thou shalt serve other gods, I'm just quoting. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Right? That's how we know. So you're going to tell me that don't have nothing to do with biblical prophecy as well? This is weird. But let me go into this guy, the second guy. It is Jake. And I asked him a question. Let me see if I got a response yet. Nope, still hadn't got a response. He's reading Hebrew, right? Um, from Deuteronomy 28 and 68, a lot of you know that. And he said in Deuteronomy 28 and 68, when it says, Ye shall be sold, he claims with King James, King James. Jamie was wrong as he claim it as he claims and it means it meant you sell yourselves well I decided as I always like to do go into the older Bible of 1380 let's see what that one says let's see if it's only about King James the Lord shall lead thee a yin by ships in Egypt by the way of which he saith unto thee Thou shouldest see it no more again. There thou shalt be sealed or sold to thine enemies. Right? And all the translations before that pretty much says that. For servants, servitors, and handmaidens, and no man shall deliver thee. Well, wait a minute. Where's by? Right? Where's by? We'll get into that in a second. Let me go to another Bible see what it says see if it says the same thing right again predating King James version okay so some some of the Bibles they when they did the translations they said you will sell yourselves <clears throat> right but the Bibles before that never said that and this is where they get the translations from because these scholars will come up with these phenomenal <laughs> these phenomenal translations and then you'll see something different why because you're dealing with the uh, different 
you know, translations of Hebrew. It says, and the Lord shall bring, the, this is the Bible of 1500s, bring you to uh, Egypt again with ships. By the way, I've said unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there thou shalt be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and servitudes and maidies. And no man shall buy you, right? B-Y-E, not B-U-Y. See, the English translation, let's go through online etymology of the word buy. And no man shall buy you. It says to get paid for, right? Acquire possession in exchange for something of value to redeem a ransom. So this is why the word buy is in the King James Version. But the older translation says, no man shall deliver thee. Right? So let's go on to some, it says here in the modern, uh, let me see here. Modern Hebrew, the uh, only vernacular tongue based on ancient written form, was developed in the 19th and 20th century. Okay. Um, it says in the languages, most of the Old Testament was written by dates of living language. So we're also going to go. So wait a minute. What was wrong with the original language? So you can see over time. Let me let me check this out real quick. You can see over time how things change. I typed here how many different times of Hebrew, how many different forms of Hebrew are there. According to, and then you got the Talmud, okay, according to the ethno, ethnologue, the currently spoken dialects of Hebrew are standard Hebrew, general Israeli, Europeanized Hebrew, which when you understand a lot of the languages is mixtures of German, Polish, Russian, and various others, and Oriental Hebrew, which goes to East Arabianized Hebrew, Yemenite Hebrew, right? And this is why, you know, when you look at Paleo Hebrew, let's take a look at this. Um, well, let's look at another form of Hebrew. He says here, it says here, when you look at it, it says, now normally it's right to left, but the way they wrote it, ye shall add further to see. Um, her of her and you shall sell they don't even say yourselves it says selves they kind of crossed out the your there to ones and enemies right so you had to know that they needed to blot this out because of this transatlantic slave trade can you imagine that but so they snuck in the word, <clears throat> snuck in some words and changed it around. Now when you look at, take a look at this, you can look at the modern Hebrew here, right? And then you can look at the Paleo Hebrew before 586, 585 BC and Deuteronomy 26 and 28, I mean 68. So you got to watch a lot of these different hopscotch Hebrews. <laughs> They call us the hopscotches, but they're jumping all around the place. And then they say in the new Hebrew writing gives a more clearer understanding of what we see. This is crazy. That's why the scripture says, remember the days of old, right? And our history is in the ancient writings. So anyway, that's pretty much to sum it up. <clears throat> There's one Jake. He wants to remain. He doesn't want anything better. He wants to be a slave, right? He doesn't agree with slave ships. The other Jake, he may believe in the slave ships, but he don't think it's biblical. He doesn't think, I'm sure, the yoke of iron upon that neck is biblical. And as the uh, elder GMS Vegas sit down, I watched his, actually watched his video. He brought up Joel, the third chapter, right? Which a boy being sold for a harlot, a girl for wine that they might drink. I don't. I guess he don't see that biblical. I don't think he. It's not just in Deuteronomy that shows that we're the people of the Bible. 
It's uh, Obadiah who shows who Edom is, according to what's happened in Habakkuk, the second chapter shows them as well. We can look at Lamentation and uh, Lamentations and also see who the biblical Israelites are. So it's it's overwhelming proof, you know, who the uh, Israelites really are. We can look at Exodus. We can look at Numbers. We can look at uh, Phinehas, right? Um, there's various, all through the Bible, we can look at Yahawasha, you know, who was hung. It Acts, the fifth chapter says it. And if he was hung on a tree as a Judite, there was a lot of Judites being hung on trees as well. So who else fit these prophecies? You have to know that somebody be carrying a year and a half over the water and tortured and raped and their teeth knocked out. I remember I did the video on that with the uncle, good, goodbye Uncle Tom, and somebody said oh, those those are not actual events, but they flagged it and took it back down because they knew that we done the research. We don't put these clips up and show these things without proof, right? And at the end of the day, it all boils down to faith anyway, right? If you don't want to believe you're an Israelite, you don't want to believe that um, God's people came on them slave ships. Hey, somebody, the worst criminal punishment as a nation on this planet happened to the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, mainly you Judites that came on them slave ships and the Northern Tribe, right? For whatever reason, all these horrible, horrific events that happen in the Bible, that's not us. But the people who claim to be us is trying to take on some of those curses and saying that all that's happened to them. But there's nothing in the past four or five hundred years according to the Bible that says that they're the people of the Bible the people of the Bible will still be showing it will still be active today of the people who are cursed and the people who are punished and then when a deliverance cr come that's when you you know we, we will be finished but until then we are under those curses this drunk man with the bottle proves this and this man that's reading every form of Hebrew he can just to say we're not the people of God. That's all I have on that. Shalom.